Good morning. Wow. Finally, the book talk on the small pleasure. Why? Uh, she's Catholic nun, Yi He In. Let's pray. Father, let this small poetry book speak loudly to us that we may truly learn how to actually pray and encounter you that way. In Jesus' name. Amen. She's probably one of the famous Korean poet, woman poet, that Korea has produced. 2008, she wrote this book for the first time. By this year, 2023, which is five years later, she sold more than almost 200,000 copies. Because they usually, you know, popular author like this, they will print more than 4,000 book copies per issue, per print. 48 print with runs about 192,000. I, I think, wow. So by now, well over 200,000. Uh, average poets in Korea would not do that. I I sold on the average 2,000 copies of my book. So 2,000 versus 200,000. Wow, 100 times more. But she has friends uh, in uh, uh, Protestant, and she wrote this little poetry book called Chagan Gipung, Small Pleasures. Uh, it was actually uh, re reviewed by a professor, Kang Higun of Gyeongsang University. And he appropriately uh, evaluates it quite well. And he says that her words are like flowers. When, when she creates these words, it becomes flower or call it Mar could mar means word and got means flower mar got so that her poetry creates flower number two she's um religious um, sojourner and she is out of that loneliness out of that um, spiritual discipline she fashions the poem um, she says that she does not twist words. As uh, one of the poems, it says that I I hear music when I write and like, wow, that's so beautiful. This book he writes is a textbook for love. And it talks about, you know, when she, this nun talks about love, it's not romantic love. So uh, when she says that, oh, you are so beautiful, it's not, she's not talking about some men or you are so awesome, and she's not talking about her husband. She's not married. She's a nun, so she's focusing on God. So it's textbook for love for God. Fifth, she her poems are very, very easy uh, to read, and it's not complicated. It's not, doesn't use, you know, uh, high Korean words. It's just very simple words. And as I share also, one, one of the greatest compliments that an author received before he died, when received a letter saying that a 17 year old girl wrote to him and said, I was reading through your entire book and I never had to use dictionary. And that was like, wow, that was the biggest compliment I received. And so like, wow. So using simple words, but creating uh, new kind of stuff. Here, the sixth one, and then her poetry, becomes song, how the words become beautiful. And so I thought that was really wonderful. Um, you know, usually when I read a poetry book like this, and I this time I went to Korea, I bought a whole bunch of, this is sort of like, uh, this is like essay with poetry by Kim Jae-shik. This is straight out poetry by Nat Teju. It's another very famous. Uh, this I already did book talk about USO. So I've been really enjoying myself. And this is just finished that. Uh, but of course, every translation of poetry is a treason. So I will not going to do that, but just the thought. And she writes how she spent all night awakened and by this burden to uh, write poem. And, all the her body and her mind is it's just very very um stiff and uh, difficult time and yet her poetry will reach heaven 
So I thought like, wow. But honestly, I really, I, I'm a poet too. I publish a lot of poetry books, but for me, poem comes so easy. It's almost like, you know, I don't want to sound vulgar, but it's like almost like dumping, you know, so you just release, you know. To me, it's like, feels so good. Like once a thought comes and I write poem, it's just released. It's so automatic. I rarely modify, change. It's just simply my first draft. And yeah, so and I thought maybe she, she's different. She's professional and she really, really, really uh, write, you know, think and then correct and change. In a poem called Writing Letter, she writes, I write letter like I treat a musical instrument. Some people play music through piano, cello, violin, and they have their own musical language. So kayagum or kamungo, this Korean instrument. And he says, all the words has music in itself, and it will flow out of the words. And the final conclusion is that the recipients are happy receiving those words. So I think to her, you know, when she creates, she's not creating words, but music. And, and people who could only hear that could really receive a blessing. One of the really interesting thought is that 잠과 사랑, sleeping and love. I sleep, 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 and yet I still need to sleep more. I love, I love, I love, I still need to love more. Isn't it interesting? The surprise of repetition. Be, be happy. Be happy about repeat surprise of repetition. You know, like you sleep, sleep, but next day you want to sleep more. You need it. You love, 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 and there's no limit to love. You want to love more. So I thought that was like, wow, that's pretty cool. Cool. There's another poem that I thought was like, this probably was the poem that I thought, wow, that I never thought it that way. It's talking about shower, the raining shower. As they come together, and yet, although they are coming together in mess, they are lonely. They make a lot of noise, and yet, they feel lonely. I wanted to comfort them so I opened the window and yet when I did it stopped it's talking about how you know shower comes especially in Cambodia man it pours it's crazy they're all coming together and yet they feel alone although they're coming mess they seem to be alone they're come together with all kinds of noise and yet they're very very lonely sound you know and I think it's the uh, putting of he, her emotion, being lonely, being, you know, um, sad. And although this beautiful harmony of music produced by the shower. There's another poem I thought like, man, it would be, this would be the perfect poem to translate into English. In front of waves, before the waves, I shouted as I went to the shore. Please get ready for the rumble of the waves or the swelling. Please get ready for the swell of the waves. As the quiet, gentle shalom, do not measure. Do not measure the calmness by outside. You should not stop. Wave has to merge. Wave has to swell. I shouted in front of the waves. I guess she went um, with some emotion and she saw the calmness of the ocean and yet she knows that waves will come, you will swell and um, that's what the nature of waves are. The longest poem that I read in this book was five pages long and which I'm not going to translate but it talks about the old person talking to their children, like my daughter, my son, and all the good friends who take care of me now. I am so thankful for your kindness. And yet, do not treat me like a kid. Just because I lost some memories, do not treat me like victims of Alzheimer's. And do not treat me like a kid publicly. Do not 
I could still hear, I have hearing not gone and you publicly embarrass me about who I am and you publicly ask me, do you still want to live as if checking out to see if I want to continue to live and yes, I do. But if I say I will, you will say that you are too selfish wanting to live in spite of all these difficulties you create. And, and, and she says, please spare me and please give me grace. It is I who want to die in peace. It is I, I don't want to bother anybody. And yet there's still a bit of joy that I experience and, and I smile and I want to live as long as I don't discomfort people. And I pray to God that when my time is over, that I would like to go to him. And, and I'm so happy that I said what was in my heart. So I am now smiling, although you may think that the smile is result of Alzheimer's disease. And yet I still smile. You know, when I read that poetry, I thought, wow, you know, I sometimes treated all people with disrespect. I mean, I, I'm super nice to them and being super nice to them sometimes could be the opposite of what they want. They just want to be loved and not treat like a kid or be told what to do and you know uh, so that was really uh, helpful for, for me well lord bless you um yeah maybe i would uh, do a english poetry book book talk next time lord bless you guys <laughs>